Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraft Tastic, and this is week 48 of my From Scratch Plan With Me. I'm using letter paper, 32 pound, that I've printed a dot grid on both sides of the paper. I've just cut it in half so that it will fit in an A5 binder. And I'm using Buffalo plaid this week. This season, this holiday season, I am really into the Buffalo plaid. I was into it last year, but I'm just using Buffalo plaid for everything. But here I'm um, reinforcing the spine of the page with the washi tape from the Target Dollar Spot. I got this roll last year. They do have a different look of buffalo plaid this year. So if you're interested, you can check it out. Here I'm just kind of putting a slight fold into the page to find the center and I'm using a black simply gilded washi tape with gold bows to make the lines for a horizontal spread. So I'm using that to divide the sections. And here I start out trying to measure it and then decide to do the fold to split the other boxes in half as well. So the fold is really a quick and easy way to do it. And that's why I used the dot grid paper. It still has, even though you don't have a full grid, you have the dots to guide you and to help keep things straight. And here I decided to use these large stamps um, for the days of the week. So I'm just inking up and stamping. And these are some of my favorite stamps for doing my plan with me. I try not to use them too much, but I really like the look of the large initial for the day of the week. So I'm finishing up that part and I have this washi tape that I think I got from the Wish app and it's numbered one through 30 and the font is like a handwritten or hand lettered font. So even though it's washi tape, it still looks kind of natural on this spread and I'm just trimming it down so that it will fit in the spaces. And then on this side of the spread, I realized that I don't really like the positioning of the numbers. It's just too close to the bottom of the letters. So I'm moving it over to the side and that looks better to me. It gives the Everything has its own space. So again, I'm just trimming them down and I'm going back to the first page and repositioning the numbers there. So here I'm working on my section that's usually used for notes. I'm going to use it for to do's this week and I'm using the checklist up there so that I can just list out everything that I need to do, all of the things that are just going through my mind that I need to get down. And instead of trying to delegate everything to a day, I'm just gonna put it all on this list just so, just to make sure that I get it done this week. It's not really time specific. And here are some newer stickers that I'm going to use. They are text or word stickers and they are from Piper Paper Company and 
I'm putting down the payday, uh, plan next week, and laundry stickers from those. And this little booklet I made, it's like a traveler's notebook, sticker book. I made this, if anyone is interested in seeing how to make it, let me know down in the comments. These are some old stickers. Well, not that, they're not that old, but some stickers. I think I got them on clearance from Michaels. And I really need to start using some of those random stickers that I have. So I'm trying to incorporate older stickers that I haven't been using, like those in this sticker book and some of the ones that I've actually purchased from the craft stores that I don't really use, so. There I just put a little flag to highlight its planning time. These are some old stickers that I printed So I put my shopping cart for Thursday for grocery shopping and a new release sticker for Friday just to check shops for new releases and my early release sticker for Wednesday so that I make sure I don't forget to pick up my son early. Um, I'm putting down ballet stickers, of course. Can't forget those. And I'm also working on a special um, traveler's notebook, personal size for ballet and Nutcracker because that schedule is crazy and there's no way I could keep up with it on my regular planner spreads. So here I just put down my public sticker and the Dollar Tree sticker, which is something that we pretty much do every Saturday. And I put down a Walmart sticker because I need to go buy Christmas lights on Monday. My lights conked out when we were trying to put up the tree. And These are stickers that came from the Black Women Who Plan and Create conference. They're by Exquisite Soul, and I'm looking at her dolls, trying to figure out which ones I would like to use on this week's spread. And I find two that I like for this week. I'm just cleaning up my space, which I tend to do. And I'm just going in listing the things that I need to do this week, like the Christmas lights. I need to update my insurance, do that nutcracker schedule. I need to um, check my post office box for sure. And pay bills, of course. Those things, I know which day I need to do those on. So I'm going in and putting those down. Tuesday, I have an eye appointment. So I'm just putting that in. Then back to my to-dos. I need to schedule an appointment. I need to get... Oh, and I'm going in and kind of highlighting that I need to go to Walmart. And I also need to call my doctor. Now I'm going in, I need to get the signal on my truck maintenance. There's something wrong with that. Definitely need to clean my desk and I need to mail out some thank yous. So those are the things I'm going to try and accomplish this week along with everything else. Put down a butt first coffee sticker and a day in the life sticker. Just some little decor to make it a little more interesting. The, uh, the good life sticker and 
just do your thing. So now I'm just gonna punch and get ready to put it in my planner. And this little baggie I got from Target Dollar Spot. I told you I was really into the Buffalo plaid. I picked up all of the bags. I didn't get a tote bag this year because I still have my Buffalo plaid tote bag from last year. So, yeah. So here is the final spread. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want to see the completed spread, check me out on Instagram. I usually post my final spreads there. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.